folks, it's Gecko, and today I am going to be going through to what I get in my May Fairy Loot. Now, the box is very, it looks um, very tightly packed. So, let's just have a look see what we get. As always, I already opened them, so I don't have to open them on camera because that's loud and annoying. And Mog's now on the windowsill. If you want to look and see what's in here. So firstly, okay, <laughs> the packaging is so cool. Oh hello. Oh hello. I'm assuming that means. Am I missing a straw? Because uh, this is. Um, from now until the darkness claims us. And this is a Sarah J Mass. I don't want that. <laughs> Sorry. Where is the spoiler card? Where's the spoiler card? Ah. There's the straw. Right there. This is really a hunt for the spoiler card. Yes, there's the spoiler card. Goodness me. My desk is literally just covered in these now. After that, so is my floor. So the theme of this month is spellcraft. This was uh, inspired by Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass and designed by Chatty Nora. I won't be using it. Sorry. Um, oh, a reading list game. This is a uh, a TBR game designed uh, brought to us by Fairy Loot. This is so cool because there's this um, a trend on BookTube where I'm assuming this is rolled out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Where people do uh, TBR games, um, spin the wheel, uh, TBR that high or lower game, play your card right. Um, there's one that works around Trivial Pursuit. My favourite is the one that works around Trivial Pursuit, and uh, I'll uh, link some of the videos. I'll link Mel's Wheel of TBR, Gavin's Play Your TBR Right, which is the card one, and I will also link uh, Jade's. Um, Trivial Pursuit game or TBR Pursuit. It's really cool. So this is a game. Are the rules anywhere? Doesn't seem to have any rules. Great game. Um, all you need to do is write down all the books you want to choose on the number sheet. Please pay. We roll the dice. Whichever number you roll on is the books you read. Cool. And it's a twenty-sided dice, and it's beautiful. It's, it's purple and gold. You get a little bag. Oh, I don't know if I'll actually use this game, but if I ever get into D&D &D like I really want to, I will be using this dice. But that is really cool. And the, it's, the, the box is stunning as well. Um, and this is what the uh, things look like. So I imagine you keep going until you've read all of them. Um, and there's quite a few pages actually, there's a lot. It's quite chunky, which is good because I have a lot of unread books and so do a lot of people in the book community. I like this. I know Owl Crate did one last month, or was it also in May? I can't remember. Either way, that's really cool. I probably won't use it though. <laughs> But I do like it, and that is a really cool game. That is great, I do like that. We have, because this, I have this art print here, which is, well, this is inspired by the Crow series, a book I got three chapters into and had to return to the library because other people wanted to read it. So this is quite cool. It's quite funny, it's like, 
if Twilight was actually good. Um, tarot cards are last. Okay, hello. That is cool. I love that. Okay, hello. Oh, hello. Behold what has arrived arrived? Does it say arrived? Oh, you can't even see it. Um that's not better at all. Um it's a phone stand. Um uh, I'm sure someone will tell me how you work it, you um, I'm currently using my phone so I don't know how Sick. It's meant to go like this, and you I don't have a surface. Um, it's meant to go like that. I can't even see that. Um, I don't know. I. This is really cool though. I, I, don't, I don't know how you use it. And the quote is from Ray Bearer by Jordan Fuenco. I haven't actually read that book yet. This is quite cool. And I love the packaging. Okay. Okay. Uh, Serpent and Dove Coaster. Okay. Serpent and Dove Coaster set. I really love that book. Still haven't read the sequel, but really love that book. I don't know where my copy is. Of the first one, I know I'm a copy of the sequel is up there. It's the big red one. Right at the end, this side. Oh, and oh, okay, okay. These are designed by Ars28. And we have this one. We have this one. We have this one. And we have this one. They're very nice. I do love these. They're very cool. I don't use the coasters. We do display the vampire ones we got though downstairs on our little table just in front of the front door. Or inside of the front door, I should say. Anything else? Oh, okay. We also have the tarot cards, which are also inspired by Serpent and Duff. And these are designed by Morgana Oanagorn, which isn't, it's Morgana backwards. But these are very nice. Um, and then we move into the book. pretty right so we'll take out these and we'll go straight for the book and then talk about what else is in there we have the fairly exclusive edition of a book that doesn't have a title on the cover this is which is steeped in gold by shan smart and it is absolutely stunning and this is on three edges this is stunning this is beautiful okay <gasps> okay <laughs> Okay. You can wait. <laughs> you can see this beautiful art on the rest of the dust jacket, which was done by Unicify Art. Um, I believe they designed all of it according to what I'm being led to believe here, but that. Oh my god. And it's signed. This is okay. This this is too pretty. 
Why are they giving us all the pretty books? I, mean, I don't know. Right. This is a smaller paperback as well. Uh, hardcover, not paperback. What's in it? Trust no witch. Apparently that's what in it. Trust no witch. So, I'll read out the uh, little synopsis. And like, oh, it's just on the... Uh, they're fairly exclusive. I love this. This is beautiful. So, order divides them. Revenge will unite them. Iraya Adair, I apologise if I butcher these names, has spent her life in a cell, heir of an overthrown and magically gifted dynasty. She is ex exiled from the island nation of Ayaka? Ayaka? But every day brings her closer to freedom and vengeance. Jasmine Carrier grew up dressed in gold with stolen magic at her fingertips. Daughter of the South Crown crowned Doyen, her existence is a threat to her mother's rule, but Jasmine has no intention of dying. Sworn enemies, the two witches enter a deadly alliance to take down the woman who threatens both their worlds, but revenge is a bloody pursuit, and nothing is certain except the lengths Araya and Jasmine will go to win this game. A fierce and thrilling story where dangerous magic reigns, supreme, and betrayal lurks beneath every word. Oh, that sounds really cool, actually. <laughs> This is, um, ah, of Jamaican heritage, Shannon Smart grew up in a small town in the southeast of England. In YA, she loves her heroines exactly as she loves her villains, willful, wily, and unpredictable. When not writing, Shannon can be found reading, painting, or taking the long way home to listen to a good song more than once. Lover of fantasy genre, lover of the fantasy genre in particular, which is steeped in gold, is her debut novel. That sounds amazing, and I really want to read it. And it's so shiny. <laughs> I am very simple. You show me shiny things, I will take them. I think I'm part magpie. So next we have the character art on the reverse of the author note. This is really cute. <laughs> this is actually a really cute letter. Um, I don't normally read them out, but I really like this. Dear Fairy Loot Reader, my debut couldn't have been about anything other than witches. They're an obsession that began with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. How hilarious was Salem? And only grew one summer in Jamaica when I learned about the White Witch of Rose Hall. The former wolf was... The former was Sage familiar the latter was dark safe and familiar the latter was dark dangerous and sent me down a twisty eldritch path that would lead to a pretty nightmare which is steeped in gold are you scared yet don't be but this coven you're now part of welcome has one simple rule trust no witch xoxo shannon smart that is <laughs> a really nice author letter that, that that's so nice so we're now part of a coven. <laughs> That's cool. And this is the fairy scoop for the month. It talks about the June box um, and the interview with the author. It explains how the uh, difference um, differences between the regular edition and the fairy loot edition. And where, where are you hiding? The chagrin of every cat owner ever. It's a ribbon bookmark. It's a, it's a bindings coming. Okay. That's it. Fine. It has its own ribbon bookmark. I have two books with ribbon bookmarks. In which I've literally had to fold the bookmark back into the book. So my cats can't destroy them. Mog. I'm assuming she's just a long window, I haven't seen her jump past. And then it goes on to the uh, June uh, box. Animal Companions. And, uh, there'll be another item in this I automatically know I'm getting rid of. So the theme is Animal Companions. And it's a guy with a, what looks like a fox with wings, a tiger, 
and a nine-tailed fox because of course we, we love our nine-tailed foxes here animal companions have you ever felt a connection to an animal friend or wished for your own magic creatures to accompany you on an epic quest whether that be a fire spittering dragon or a talking cat many readers animals are the perfect companions if you could have any animal companion what would it be and why Mog, where are you? <laughs> My animal companion's Mog, and I won't hear any complaints. In this box, you can expect items inspired by the Raven Boys, Crescent City, the Priory of the Orange Tree, Kiki's Delivery Service, and Kingdom of the Wicked. We are thrilled to reveal that this box will include two items that we have never featured before, one of which is a Crescent City flower pot. Now, that's the item I'm automatically just not going to have anything to do with because we know my feelings for Sarah J. Mass. Our feature book of the month is a contemporary fantasy. That's a interesting way to say urban fantasy. Basically, because every fantasy is a fantasy to take place on Earth, urban means takes place in the city, high fantasy means it or our world basically. So like yeah, Harry Potter House of Night, what I like there. Contemporary urban fantasies. High fantasy are books like um Lord of the Rings, things like that. So the difference is Okay, a contemporary fantasy filled with sarcastic characters, dragons, action, and a dash of romance. That can go away. This fairly really exclusive edition. I don't know if you hear the people talking in the street, but that's really rude. This fairly really exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by I Can Draw Things. <laughs> Love that name. Foil embossing on the case by I Can Draw Things that will be signed by the author. And the read along for this book begins on June 28th and the reading schedule will be published on community.fairyloot.com a few weeks a few days before to make sure everyone has their book in time so that's fun um yeah i can't wait to get stuck into this one if you can hear that well, i hope people know the private conversations are not too private So, yes, that's that. Um, I will probably not start this book for another two months, e two years rather, even though I clearly really want to read it. So that's fun. But yes, that was the May. Oh, also the. Hang on. Did I? I did. There's the bookmark that matches the spoiler card, which is absolutely stunning. I think Mum's on the phone as well. They... I love that. Right, this goes in my uh, bookmark mug. But yes, for a second I was like, oh no, I didn't get the bookmark. But yes, I'll pop that in there. And I will bin the quite insane amount of these we have. I moved my uh, friend son, I have no idea how to use it. I put it all back in there, apart from the ones that fell. Some of this has actually fallen on the floor. As you can see, the amount I'm actually putting back into the box should show you. It's a crazy thing. And the chagrin of every fairly subscriber, I'm sure. But yes, that was the uh, May box. Let me know what you thought of it. And also, maybe one day I will go into a list of why I'm not a Sarah J Maas fan. Because I'm sure that's something we all really care about. But yes. I'm just going to put all of these. Because the thing is, 
there's a lot of these useful items I'm not actually going to use. It sucks being in the book community and not really being a Sarah J Mass fan when literally every book company is like, yay, we love her. And it's just like, no. <laughs> so, I just hope I, this video doesn't get a lot of views because if it does, people are going to go, how dare you hate Sarah J Mass? Believe me, I know that because I'm in Facebook groups with these people. They're insane. But anyway, that was the May 2021 Fairy Loot unboxing. Let me know what items you liked. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you next time with hopefully something that isn't either a, a wrap up or a Fairy Loot. We'll see. I'm hoping for a review, but I'm not very good at like talking about my feelings about books because usually it's like i liked it i i have no idea why i liked it i just did so maybe it'll be a review maybe it'll be a discussion or my opinions on the series which is same that's a review stop talking gecko anyway i will see you well i will see you i won't see you anyway thank you for watching this video I'm watching me have a slight breakdown towards the end um, hope you enjoyed and I'm sure I will make a video at some point. Bye! <laughs>